terminologies in skin lesions. Have you ever wondered what pimples are or why a bruise turns yellow and green before fading? Our skin is like a stage for a play. The actors in this play are special cells that work tirelessly to keep your skin healthy and protected. But sometimes these cells get into arguments and injuries disrupt the scene. So it is all about the drama unfolding beneath the surface of your skin. Through this video, let me walk you into a world of skin terminologies used to describe the different bumps and patches that show up on our skin. This is a macule, which appears as flat spots on the skin or oral mucosa, different in color from the surrounding areas. These can be red caused by increased blood flow or inflammation or pigmented due to the presence of melanin or hemosiderin. Freckles are a common example of a macule on the skin. In the mouth, a melanotic macule is a small dark spot on the gums. The next one here is a papule, which rises above the surface of the skin and oral mucosa. They are always less than one centimeter in diameter and can be either slightly rounded or flat on top. Lichen planus is an example of a condition that can cause papules on both the skin and inside the mouth. Pop quiz Here we have a plaque, which, unlike a papule, is a raised lesion larger than 1 cm in diameter. Psoriasis, a skin condition, often shows up as plaques. In the oral cavity, leukoplakia is an example of a plaque-like lesion. Next is a nodule. This is a lesion that develops deeper within the dermis or mucosa. They rise above the surface and typically have a rounded dome-like shape. Nodular prurigo is a skin condition that shows nodules. Irritation fibroma is an example of a nodule that develops on the oral mucosa. Moving on to small fluid-filled blisters called vesicles that appear on the skin and oral mucosa. These are less than 1 cm in diameter. Chicken pox is a condition that causes vesicles on the skin, while the herpes simplex virus can cause them in the oral mucosa. This is a bulle, which are like vesicles on steroids. They are large fluid-filled blisters, always wider than 1 cm in diameter. Bulle pemphigoid is a skin condition that can cause bulle, while mucous membrane pemphigoid can cause them inside the oral cavity. Next is an ulcer, which is well circumscribed and depressed, with an epithelial defect covered by a fibrin clot resulting in a yellow-white appearance. Venous ulcers typically develop on the leg due to poor blood circulation. An apthys ulcer occurs in the oral cavity. Here we see erosions, which are red, raw areas that appear on the skin or inside the mouth. They can be caused by broken vesicles or bullae, trauma, atrophy due to inflammatory diseases. It's important to distinguish erosions from ulcers. Ulcers are yellow, while erosions are usually moist and exposed. However, erosions can sometimes turn into ulcers. Pemphigus vulgaris is an example of a condition that can cause erosions on both the skin and oral mucosa. Moving on to pustules. These are pus-filled blisters that appear on the skin or oral mucosa. The pus inside the pustule gives it a yellow color. Bacterial folliculitis is a skin condition that causes pustules to develop. Oral pustulosis is a condition that forms pustules in the oral mucosa. This is a purpura. They are reddish purple discolorations that appear on the skin or oral mucosa. They occur when blood leaks out from vessels into the connective tissue. Purpura does not blanch when pressure is applied. It is classified by size as petechiae, which are less than 0.3 cm, 
purpura between 0.4 to 0.9 cm and ecchymosis that is greater than 1 cm. Understanding skin terminology empowers you to better diagnose and communicate with your patients and other specialists. Leaving you with a summary of the skin terminologies. Feel free to take a screenshot. We have now come to the end of this video. Hope you had fun learning with us. Think out of the box. Explore more such videos on our website.